Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be doing a CSGO Covert and Restricted AK-47 skins tier list. And uh, I actually have a guest with me here. He is a quite elated right now, we'll say. And uh, he's in the Discord call right now. He's going to be helping me make this tier list up. So uh, we have... Oh yeah, you can introduce yourself now, I guess. I am going to be helping make this amazing list. <laughs> yes, that's what he's going to be doing. All right. So we have uh, a few tiers here. We have God tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, F tier, and Crap tier. So that, that's all the tiers we have. So we're going to start with the first one. So uh, go to the first one in the list. So this is called the AK-47 right. Hydroponic. It's a restricted skin. It's from the Chop Shop collection, I believe. And it is a weed skin. A lot of people like putting weed stickers. Yes, on. the dope skin. Yes. Um, it's not a. It's covert iconic. Skin. It's iconic though. It is iconic. I'll give it that. Okay, it is very iconic. People love the skin because you know weed and you know 420 gamers. So I'm thinking it's like an A tier skin. Okay, I would have expected you to put it higher considering the circumstances, but uh. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's an A tier. I wouldn't put it at God tier. <laughs> all right, all right. So we're going A tier on the AK Hydroponic. All right. Yes. All right, moving on to the next one. That is the AK forty seven Cartel. It is a See, restricted skin, and it's from the Chroma collection. This one is like mildly signature i don't know it's more of the more poor options yeah it's like the poor man's like skin because it's it's a cheap ak it's it reminds me of the new rainbow six siege showdown game mode actually it, like it's not very expensive but it also doesn't look that great also i don't think it got normal mode. <laughs> literally siege <laughs> That's true. I don't think it got. I don't think it got normal mapped. So I think that. I think that's like a, a C or a D skin. Yeah, it's it's not the best. Def compared to these other ones, it's definitely not the best. I'm gonna go with D on it. All right. All right. Next we have the AK-47 <laughs> case hardened. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut that part out because you coughed. <laughs> but next we have the AK-47 case hardened. So this one is really variable. It kind of like. It can be like really, really cool and have an awesome pattern with a lot of blue on it, or it can kind of just like you know be a, an interesting like one with gold. So it's really yeah. variable. Um, I was gonna say like a good one, like a a good one would be solid like A or S tier, or like A or God tier. If it's like a really good one and it looks like cotton candy, kind of like the barrel of this one does, but like if it looked like that everywhere. Yeah, that no, would be cool. That would be God tier. If it's not and it's the shit like gold one. Then it's going to be D tier. <laughs> it's so, so it's think, either ends of the spectrum. I think it's probably fair to put it like B or C. Yeah, as an average, yeah. I, I'm going to go with, <laughs> I'm gonna go with B. We're going to put it in B. All right. B is right. fair. Next up, we have the AK-47 Neon Revolution. This is, I don't actually I know. love this skin. I love it. I don't know what case it's from. Um, It's a covert, so. Oh, it's, it's just it's the ak's version of the mac 10 like neon rider I mean, and it's there, beautiful there is literally an ak neon rider that's later in the list though but so. this is like an even better i feel like looking version and it's beautiful the graffiti is okay the graffiti effect is kind of cool i just think the execution on this was like a little poor to be honest like i don't know you okay we, we have differing differing opinions on this so hey i just love this art style i'm a like cyberpunk type <laughs> Well, I mean, there is another cyberpunk AK that's like more cyberpunk than this one, but okay. So let's well, let's place it at like a A B, A or B. I'll, I'll go with no. That. Uh, damn, I don't want it to be at the same spot as Case Hearted. It's okay. definitely A. Okay, we'll put it in A. We'll put, that's fair. We'll put it in A. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up, AK forty seven Asimov. Uh, a or God tier. Yeah, I'm it's gonna go. Yeah, S. it's definitely A or God tier. The Asimov skins are just. They're so. How good. expensive is the Asimov now? For the AK. Which, the AK. Uh, factory News way up there. The field tested one's like a solid 40 something. No, yeah, like God tier. I'm yeah. putting Asimov in God tier. I'll put it in God tier. Asimov skins are just so solid. They look good on everything. I had a P90 Asimov. I, just, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I wish the, I still did. <laughs> that's the. That's the. That's. It's kind of. You, you give it God tier because you have personal connection. Yeah. So I also. I owned an AK Asimov, you know, a little while back. So I have personal connection to it too. All right, That's next up, good. this is a big boy, the AK-47. I love this mine. one. This is the Suicide Squad of AKs. 
What do you mean by that? <laughs> it's the Suicide Squad of AK. It's literally got the Harley Quinn skull in the back, and it's the Joker pink and, like, green. Wait, are we and it's I neon. Think, I think it might anarchy? be like different ones. But the one after Ezema, the Anarchy let me, one. Let me check. All right, guys, so we got a little bit confused there. The lists were a little bit uh, oddly set because of the way the folder was set up. So we're currently on the Neon Revolution, and I went ahead and replaced the uh, Neon Rider into A tier because that's where we messed up. Uh, he was looking at the Neon Rider, I was looking at the Neon Revolution, and we both really liked the Rider, so I went ahead and kept it in A. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next one here. This is the Neon Revolution. This is the graffiti pink and green skin. So what do you think uh, of this one? It's the Suicide Squad of AK skins. Yeah, that's true. You're right. That That is... Uh, the, the, I just, again, like I said with, the, with it previously, I don't think the execution on it is just there. Like It screams Tom Hardy should have been here. <laughs> it's a that's true it's like a joker skin for sure and this it's has anarchy awesome. on it okay so you I, like I, this I one it, quite a bit yeah i like it i i'd put it in like it can go in b just because it's not that expensive and yeah. it's kind of a more common one i'll keep it in I, would, b. I would want to put it in a but like it's definitely a b i don't think it, i don't think it lives up to the hydroponic and neon rider i think it definitely no, yeah it in b. All right, now we're moving on to the iconic AK-47 red line. The red line, on the other hand, is like cheap as hell now. Yeah, it's cheap, but like, that's and it's the like nice the thing. it's the it's the Corvette of AK-47s. It's got yeah. that like smooth red line. Yeah, for sure. It's like it's like the really it's like one of the most common AKs in the game for people that have skins. But it's like that's it's like a the classy. Nice. Let's put it at a classy B tier. Yeah, okay. I think that's fair. Like, the thing is with the... It's just such a solid, like, staple skin. Like, so many people have it. Yeah. That's, that's a good thing, because it's a nice-looking skin. It's earned B. Just because of its longevity and, yeah, like... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Alright, Aquamarine Revenge is the next one. See, sometimes it's hard to tell if this is factory new or field-tested, because the part that's gray is always the part yeah. that wears away first. So, like, I don't know. I've never personally been a fan of this one, and I'd put it at, like, C or D. The thing I think is interesting with the Aquamarine Revenge is it's, like, it looks different than all the other AKs because it has, like, a little spillover. Like, the, the middle part spills over into the wood, into the front part of the wood. Yeah. Water, which I think is cool. I think it's unique. Put, uh, I mean, most of them do that now. I don't know. Yeah. This one's cool how it like kind of like it kind of like mixes you know it like mixes with the wood which is kind of cool. Uh, all right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go with like a C. I think a solid C for C. that one. I think it's a good C, right. solid C tier skin. I'll give you a C. All right. Uh, next is the point disarray. Point disarray. When this came out, I thought it was like a beautiful skin. I also thought it looked like the uh, like a weird version of like the UK flag or something. Oh yeah, yeah. I, like, I hated this skin when it first came out. I thought it was, like, the ugliest. Because this is after the Front Side Misty came out. Like, it was very quickly yeah. after the Front Side Misty came out. And I was like, nothing can top the Front Side Misty. But, like, this is pretty good, though. Yeah, no, over time it grew on me. Like, a lot of pro players like using this one. And, like, it just kind of grew on me over time. Because I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But, like, yeah. when it first came out, I was like, no. But it, right now it's kind of grown on me. I'd say it's, like, a solid, like, A or B. I was gonna say A too, actually. Yeah, I'd I put it in at an A. Wow, that's I was gonna go A or B as well. Go A with it. It's grown on me. It's a nice, it's a nice little cool. You know, it's cheap too, which is nice for the people that don't have a ton to spend on skins. Yeah. All right. Next is the AK Vulcan. So I'll. I'll Vulcan I'll, is a wannabe front side Misty. I have and a it's lot like... to say about the Vulcan, but. All right, you you go. You know. Uh, you okay. Know. Okay. <laughs> okay the vulcan is like so nice like this is one of the best it, it's so simplistic but at the same time it's like because here's the thing i look at it as like a blue asimov basically it doesn't have the same sort of thing as the asimov but it has the same like aesthetic as the asimov i can see that but it's like a what's a blue asimov which is so cool it's so icy and you can put like you can put like hollow liquid stickers and hollow cloud nine stickers on it and it just looks like beautiful they like, should make vulcan for other guns then that's true. They should. I agree. Like a cool, like a PG50 would look so nice with Vulcan on it. Like yeah, yeah. But like I think Vulcan is such a nice one. I think it's so um, nice. I would easily put this in God tier. But what do you think about it? Uh, I think it's a budget front side Misty. It's and not it's even budget cheap. though. It's 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 like three times as expensive <laughs> as the front side Misty. Is it really? Yeah, I thought it was. It's cheap. actually it's like a I think a Stat Track Factory new one aside from the Fire Serpent is like the most expensive AK. Jeez. 
All right. Other than uh, uh, other than case hardened, obviously, because that one can go up to like thousands. All right, I'll I'll give it a two. Okay, I'm putting it in God just because like, it's my it's one I, of my favorites of all time. No, that's that's fine. I I like the front side misty a lot too, but I think yeah. this is better than the front side misty in some ways. This is it's the older. more like it's it's much older than the front. Side yeah, misty. it's the older government. Like it looks like the more government and like straightforward approach to like a gun, like yeah. something you could see in COD. While the front side misty looks just a bit more like whimsical. Yeah, there's it's a, just, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's just the difference. All right, next is the blood sport. I have a lot to say about this one too, so you can go ahead. Okay. And uh it just it looks like honestly it looks like a forza skin came to csgo and that's all i have to say a for, like forza like like a uh, forza car like yeah. a, it looks like a stupid japanese car skin <laughs> for a I, race car and whatnot i have so much conflicting opinions about the blood sport like it is so it's so in the middle for me it's like there's a lot of extremely cool elements about it and there's a lot of like really stupid elements about it and it like <laughs> Cause like it's so there's so many logos on it which is like it's cool because it like kind of looks like a nice like a drift car that you'd see like in tokyo or whatever which is kind of cool yeah. but then at the same time it's so like there's too many logos on it like there's just so many it's like overbearing it's so in your face so like i have no clue i would ease i put the seat here only because i don't know how i feel about it at all i think i don't even know what its values at, and i'm just it's like, like uh it's eh. like it's like a uh, it's not like the most expensive AK, but it's definitely up there. It's like a solid 50. C? Do you go with C? Yeah, that's kind of a bad skin in my opinion. I think it's it's just it's just like so it's so back and forth for me. I don't know. All right, now we got one that's a, a community favorite for sure. See, uh, but like this gun is this skin, it, uh, it's unique, and it's definitely got colors that like no other skins got, and like the. The interesting way that they balance the dark blue for like space and red and like the gold, it's like it's all cool and whatnot, but like I hate the design, like I the old like Egyptian y feel. I just I don't like it. <laughs> I do this one okay. I'm not a gigantic fan of this one either. A lot of people love this skin. Like I actually the person the reason I even like when I did the I because in my Discord server, by the way, quick Discord plug. If you want to join the Discord server, link is in the description below. We have a lot of members there. It's a very active community. It's really cool. So if you want to go uh check it out and get a lot of investment tips, go check out the link below. And uh, anyway, so the Empress was actually the first skin that was recommended for this tier list to be on the tier list. Because like people actually like this skin a lot. Like it's one of the community's favorites for sure so um just be, but just because it's a community favorite doesn't mean it's my favorite or your favorite right the the yeah, empress yeah. is like i think it's too much i think there's a point where it's too much you know like yeah. i think if they like did something different with the wood i like the designs on it kind of feel unnecessary to me like the little logos like i think they could, yeah, have, incorpor they could have incorporated that into the skin a little bit better right so I think if they did something different with the wood on it and like maybe something different with the clip, I think there's too much on it. There's too much going on, you know? It's like a Call of Duty gun wannabe. The idea with the face is cool for sure, but like yeah. they just that's it goes it goes too far, you know? So I'm gonna yeah. go with, I'm gonna go with C for this one. I would agree with you. Alright, next up is the AK Jet Set. This one is a very old AK from one of the very first collections ever. And uh, one of the first restricted skins also. Very, very old. Just keep that in mind when you're rating it, alright? Give it a give it a quick yeah. break. So it's it's okay. First of all, it's a little bit timely as well that it's on the list. Because, you know, Far From Home, Spider-Man's out. And yeah, no, I was going to say, it's really good for what it is. Like... Yeah, the poster is like, for, for Far From Home, is like, you know, it's with the stickers on kind of like baggage, you know? It's kind of have the yeah. same thing here, so I don't know. It's kind of timely with movie releases, I guess. Yeah. It, no, but like for real, the stickers on the gun—it's good for what it is. Yeah, it's an old skin. You know, you gotta you gotta give it some break f for that. And I think it's a Valve design skin too. I don't know if it's community designed, so I think it's designed by the creators of the game also. Um, I put it up. I'm putting it kind of up there in my mind. I feel with I like B or A, like definitely between B or A. It's a un uh, it's very unique, you know. That's yeah. Like you will not see another skin in any of all of CS:GO that looks anything close to this. I'll let you decide where you we put it because I agree with both. I okay. I think, I think just because of the uniqueness of it, I'm I, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a B actually. I don't think, 
All right, I was gonna say B, but I didn't want to decide. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go with B. I don't think it's up there with like the pointless array and the hydroponic and the cyberpunk. That's the thing. only reason why I wasn't gonna put it in A, which I think because it's, it doesn't stack up. But, but it's, it's like, good for what it's it a is. It's solid B. It's a solid. Yeah. B. Like it's a very it, solid B. Yeah. Okay, next one. Fuel Injector, another community favorite. I don't like this series of skins. I'm sorry to just keep like shitting on the favorites, but. <laughs> Don't like the I don't. Injector. I don't like fuel injectors. I don't like any of them. Like, doesn't matter what gun it's on, it never looks good in my opinion. I think there's only like one or I think there's like two or three. There's the there's the AK. There's the Tech Nine. I think there's one more. Oh yeah, the M4. But that one's called Buzzkill for some reason. Hmm. But um, personally, this the AK for me, like the the fuel injector AK for me, that one's an interesting one because the mag, the mag is so the mag, cool. the mag is cool, like. I don't know how I feel about the yellow on it. Like, I think they could have done a different color than yellow. But, like... It's, even green would have been better. Yeah, that's true. But the mag is just so cool how it has, like, the gears and all the intricacies on it. Yeah. It's like and I like the label part, too. The label and the barrel is cool. Yeah. Like, that's actually a cool part. But it's just the rest of the gun. The fuel injector is kind of like what the cartel should have been. If it was, like... If, but they got to change the colors on it. I'd say yeah. a solid B. Mm. I'd say it's a solid B. Cause like they put the neon revolution in B, and that one's definitely like. I'm pull, I'm leaning towards C, but I'll let you. I'll agree. No, with actually, C. now that I'm looking at the C skins, I think it does. It deserves to be in C. It's it's C. Yeah, we're gonna get hated on. We put like all the community <laughs> favorites in the C. I'm sorry. All right, next one, red laminate. Uh, I don't like the skin yeah, at all. There's not there's here. not a lot to say about this one. This is like the one that people try to offload because they're like, oh, well, this, this is, is like a common skin in any other game. Yeah, this is like, it, it's just like, um, it should have been a purple, first of all. It should not have been a pink. Like, the pink is way too no, this is. I thought it was a purple. <laughs> oh, it's a pink. It's a really, really old one, right? And, like, the thing is, because it's so old, a lot of people put those really old, really expensive stickers on them. Because, you know, yeah, that's cheap. why they gain so much value. They're cheap, they're, they're, yeah. they're a sticker gun. And so, like, I see so many of these on trading subreddits where they're, like, trying to offload them because they have expensive stickers on them. And it's like, this is just kind of the skin that they used to move stickers. It's weird. But, um, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying D for this one. It's just, there's no I'm, one. is that the low as it goes? It goes down to crap. It goes D, F, crap. Let's give it F. Okay. We don't have anything in F. It belongs to be an F. <laughs> All right, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Just because of that. Just we're relegating right. it there. It's its own tier. All right, front, front side, side Misty. Misty. Another community. I favorite. like this one. I actually do like this one. I think it's really cool. I think it's like... When I first saw it, I thought there was a lot going on, but then I was like, dude, yeah. actually, it's, it's a lot factory going on. New, Gotta get a factory new. It's like, yeah, it's a lot going on, but it's like a good a lot going on. There's so yeah. much stuff going on on it, but it's like blue and icy, and you can like dude, do so many cool things with it. There was a missed opportunity, though. I wish the blue in the center right above the trigger would have made like a face or like the face of a, <laughs> li like a lion or something. That, that would have been cool. cool. I like the, the I, I'm not sure how I feel about like the design specifically, but they're not bad. So I definitely say I, this is easily an A. I don't know if I'd go with God. I'd say it's easily an A though. Yeah, I was going to say uh, easily A. Yeah, easily A. All right, next one. This one's the most expensive AK of all time. The AK-47. But it's Fire shit Fire. though. <laughs> it's bad. This one is. It's, it's so bad. It's like the Frogger of skins. Like it's, <laughs> like it's an old classic, but God damn, is it bad. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, I wouldn't pay for it. I, like... would, I uh, yeah. I, I would. The only reason I would ever pay for this is just because it's expensive. Like it's just like a right. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense it's as like to why a, it's expensive. It's like but... a Louis Vuitton bag. It's just because it's rare. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> it's literally it's the Louis just Vuitton name brand. bag. Of skin. It's shit, but it's the name. Yeah. You're literally just paying for the name. Yeah, I could see that. So where do we put something that's just for the name? <laughs> I'd say okay, it's easily a D, possibly an F. Uh let's I'd give it a D. Yeah, I'll give it a D. I'll give it a D. <laughs> I'll give it a solid D. Alright, next up the AK forty seven Jaguar. This one is very interesting. A lot of people have mixed opinions I on this one. Don't give two like anything's about this. You fill in the blank with the next word. <laughs> This skin it's, is uh, like just so bad. Okay, it's here's so here's bad. the thing. Consider this though. There there exists you know those I buy power hollows, the really expensive ones? 
Yeah. People they have the lion logo on it too. I know. People put those on because you can you can match it up with the face on the jaguar. So yeah, you can make it like you can a, do that too. Yeah. So like that's kind of cool. Like that gives it a little bit of like speciality, speciality, whatever it is. Uniqueness. Yeah. Like I would say it's more speciality than uniqueness. I think it's crap. <laughs> Okay, yeah. No, it's it reminds me of a really bad <laughs> cod ugly. skin. It's really ugly. It's rancid. It's bad. It's really bad. I can't crap. even defend it. I put it it's in crap. Yeah, I put it in. <laughs> All right. The steak belt is like, I kind of, I've always kind of had my eye on it. And then when they brought it to the Glock, I had my eye on it again. And I was like, always the, 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 like, the gun Rebel? skin. Yeah, it was always the gun skin I like turned my head to look at because it wasn't the first one I'd look at, but it was always the one that was like in the back of my head. It's not a bad one. It's not bad. It's pretty good. You get, like, you get like a lot of people who first start playing CS:GO, they think it's like so bad, so ugly. But then after you play for a while and you kind of get more accustomed to it being there, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of nice. It's, it's kind of really good. It's kind of nice. It, it's it's simplistic, but it's got like a good coherent. It looks theme. simple. Yeah, like it looks simple, but if you think about it, the default AK skin is two different colors. Yeah, like, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's got like a really rich maple and then the silver. And then yeah. this is just all one wood with an old mag it's got a coherent theme going on which is really cool you don't see that in a lot of ak's like like the, yes, maybe the cyberpunk ak or like yeah but a lot yes, of them have a lot that's of why i on. love that's why i love those skins is because they all have one coherent theme yeah yeah i'd put this one in at least b tier yeah i'd say at least b i'd even push for a but yeah, I'd i don't push know for a. i'm, I'm so i'd say the comparisons what's in b and what's in a yeah we'll, we'll, we'll try to move some stuff around okay so this is like the editing phase where we move some stuff around if yeah. we want to we don't have to though all right, all right so god tier currently is the ak asimov and the ak vulcan the a tier is the hydroponic the actually let's just go tier by tier and see what we want to move okay so god tier ak asimov ak vulcan do we want to move either of those no nah. i'd say no a tier, we have the Hydroponic, the Cyberpunk, the Point Disarray, and the Frontside Misty. Do you want to move any of those? I don't know those by name. Okay, the Hydroponic's the weed one. The Cyberpunk one is the uh, the like blue and purple and the okay. pink one. And then the Point Disarray is the red, uh, blue, I, I know the that one. flag one, and then the Frontside Misty. Okay, no, I don't want to move any of those. Yeah, I'm good with, I'm good with the A tier. I think it's a solid A tier. All right, yeah. B tier. We have the case hardened. We have the uh, the neon revolution, which is the Suicide Squad one. We have the right. red line, the jet set, which is the one with Far From Home, and then we have the Wasteland Rebel. I'm good with that. I I may move the vacation one Far From Home to C. Uh, if it yeah. just depends on like what's in C though. Okay, C tier is the Aquamarine Revenge, which is the uh, the dolphin one. Yeah. The Blood yeah. Sport, which is the Tokyo one. The Empress, which is the Egyptian one you said, and then the Fuel Injector, right. which is the yellow and gray one. You know what? Yeah, move the Far From Home to C tier. I would say that the Fuel Injector could move up to D. I don't know if I want to swap them. I feel like they're equal. <laughs> you feel like they're equal? Okay. The other yeah. one I could say move up to B is maybe the Blood Sport. Okay, but Bloodsport or the Empress one? Yeah, I don't know if we want to. We don't have to move one to B. We can just leave it in C. You want to just leave them in C? I'd I'd push for fuel injector, but I think we're good with where it's at right now. All right, what's what's in D then? D is the Cartel and the Fire Serpent. Which Fire Serpent? Which one's the Fire Serpent? The one that you said was uh, like it was Louis Vuitton bag that one. Oh, that one? The Fire Serpent and the what? The Cartel, which is the... Yes, like, that's fine. Those are both <laughs> equal. I'd honestly move the Cartel down just because it's not normal mapped. Like, normal mapping is where they put, like, shadows on the details, and the Cartel's not normal mapped yet. So I'd honestly push for it to go down to the F. Even. What's in the F? Uh, just the red laminate right now. Um, you want to move... Hang on, the cart no cartel's good don't move it okay okay cartel's fine all right we'll leave cartel on d all right f tier is the red lamb in it that's the red one is that's, garbage. that's fine in f yeah that's fine i could f. even i could even move that to crap <laughs> I, i'm not i think it's fine in f but i could i could see i could there's an argument for it being in crap yeah and then crap is the jaguar which i think we both agree with it's garbage yeah all right we don't need to change much we got it yeah, good the first time 
All right, well, that's it. All right, guys, so that is the tier list. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we are about to hit 200 subscribers. I was, I thought we were going to be able to hit it with the last video that I put up, but uh, we're at 199 right now, so one more sub, and we'll make it to 200. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, and uh, leave me a like if you want to see more tier lists on this channel. I don't know how well this video is going to do. It's a lot different than what I usually make, and I thought it would kind of be fun to do this with a special guest. If you like the special guest also, uh, be sure to leave a comment for him below saying that you liked him and you want to see him in the next uh, kind of special guest video that I do. So uh, quickly, I wanted to talk about the future of the channel because we're kind of at that point where I kind of got to, you know, address that since we've gained so many subs. Um, so what I'm planning to do for the future of this channel, I want to continue forward with the investment videos and stuff like that. Not only do you guys really like those, which is good for me because, you know, views, subs, and I'm growing, which is good. Obviously, that's my goal in a way. Uh, you know, uh, besides making good content for you guys, I do want to grow, and um, that is what's helping me grow, and I'm good at doing that, and you guys like those videos, so that's fine by me. I'll continue making good investment videos for you guys to digest, and so I think I'm definitely going to go in that direction. Um, I do want to kind of make more trade-up videos and stuff like that since I am working on my inventory right now. Um, and then with that being said, since the summer sale was, you know, so terrible, it was like not a good summer sale and also my PC broke, so I wasn't able to edit videos consistently. Um, that kind of got scrapped in terms of the series. So uh, what I want to do going forward in terms of series is I want to go ahead and move forward with that uh, rating subscribers inventory series that I was going to do. And I think that'll do pretty good on my channel. We'll see about that. So I do want to move forward with that. I don't know when the first episode of that's coming out. It could be soon, could be a little bit later, but I do want to move forward with that. So uh, yeah, you're going to see more investment videos coming up. You're going to see some trade up videos coming up and you're going to see more of that. Uh, so hopefully that is good for you guys. Hopefully that content is enjoyable. I'll be getting my PC back pretty soon here. Uh, it's been re being repaired for about five days roughly now. So we're getting kind of to the point where they should uh, send it back pretty soon here. So anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the support. We're about to hit 200 subs. I'm super, super happy. Never hit 200 subs on any YouTube channel before ever. Um, so that's really cool. And thank you all for joining the Discord. Again, the link is down below. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.